All right, Twitch. I'm trying to get YouTube going. Okay, I think YouTube's working. All right, hey, welcome back, YouTube. Welcome, YouTube. YouTube's been uh, messing up lately. But we're here, we're gonna do a PlayStation 5 unboxing right here, which will be cool. So we're gonna get started with that uh, right now. Okay, yes, good to see you all, there you are. There we go. All right, you ready? So this is a pretty, I mean, you can see it's a pretty big box. You can see me here, right? Pretty big box we got going on. Yeah, thanks for liking the stream, everybody. All right, let's start. We got to unbox the box first. Doggo, he's here. Where'd you go, Frankie? Come over here. Here's Frankie. Come over here. Right here. Stop. Whoops. Shake. 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 <laughs> oh, good boy. I mean, it's a big console, though. All right, let's do this. Let's ever so slightly, gently... Cut the box. Do we have any games? We do. We got... Well, I'll let you guess. Look at my shirt I'm wearing. Gotta cut away from ourselves. Frankie's a good boy. He's, he knows lots of commands. He can roll over, and he can play dead, and he can shake. And sit and stay. All right, here we go. We got a box. A box within the box so far. Bend that down a little bit. Okay. We got packing. Hey, look at that. There it is. Dude, what if it's not, what if it wasn't a PS5? It was some knockoff. The box was a little bit bigger than the box. It is, I do like the fact that they put it in another box and then did packing. You know what I mean? They did, they did packing. <laughs> it's actually an Xbox inside. All right, okay, let's take this out now. It actually fits really snug. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, this is heavy. This is way heavier than like the PS4 box was. All right, there she is. The PlayStation 5. The box crease in the corner. Which corner? Oh, like a tiny bit, like right here? Just, nah, not much. So here's the box. I could go grab the PS4 box. I have that actually somewhere to compare, but would you guys want to see a comparison with the PS4 box? Or who cares? Get on with the boxing. So here it is. Whoop, this side. The router. <laughs> Looks like a router. I'll go grab it. I'll go. I think I know exactly where the PS4 box is. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Topic of discussion is what is love?
All right, we're back. Okay, here we go. PS5. PS4. Okay, here's the size. The PS5 box is thicker. Now, this is a PS4 Pro. I don't know how that was the print from the uh, the regular PlayStation or the Slim. But for the PS4, here's, here's the difference. It's actually not that much, but it is thinner. And then it's the same width. It's actually the same width. But this is taller, the PS5 is taller and thicker. What do you guys think looks wise? What do you guys think? I mean, when the PS5 came out, I was kind of like, eh. But I mean, it's kind of grown on me. At least it does have a little style. I think the PS4 looks pretty cool. Mr. Terry, how does your PS4 Pro sound? From what I've heard, it sounds like a jet engine. It's loud. It is definitely loud, but it's 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 more powerful. Anyway, what do you think looks better? We'll see. I mean, I'll pull I'll pull out my PS4 when I pull out the PS5, and we'll we'll do a comparison. I mean, okay, it looks like a router, but doesn't kind of everything, like every type of a. Uh, piece of computer electronics all right okay so I got a seal on the top here so I'm going to cut that okay here is the back play like never before Lightning speed. Harness the power of a custom CPU and SSD with integrated uh, I.O. that rewrite that what? Integrated I.O. that rewrite the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. Is that grammatically correct? Is it rewrite or rewrites? Input output that rewrite the rules? Rewrite, rewrites. Breathtaking immersion. Discover a deeper gaming experience with support for haptic feedback. Whatever that means. Adaptive triggers and 3D audio technology. Stunning games. Marvel at incredible graphics and experience new PS5 features. Play a back catalog of supported PS4 games with your system update. All right, that's cool. You like the Xbox design? I mean, it's just kind of an upwards rectangle, right? All right, so we're opening this up. Looks like this is uh, 825 gigabytes. That's gonna fill up immediately. Uh, by the way, I did, this is the physical disk drive edition, as you can tell. It is the disk drive edition, just letting you know. All right, so it looks like this whole, there's a handle here. The whole thing is just gonna kinda slide out. But again, this is actually quite heavy. I mean, it really is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go weigh this. I have a scale. But where did I put it? Let's go ahead, hey, take guesses. Guesses in chat for how heavy you think this weighs. I mean, all I really said is it feels kind of heavy. Put your guesses in chat. How heavy is the PS5 in the box? Sorry, by the way, if you can't hear me very well at the moment. I'm trying to find my scale. I have a bathroom scale somewhere. 
I recently moved into my house and I still don't know where my stuff is. And pounds. We're, 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 we're measuring in freedom units, okay? None of that kilos crap. Where the heck is it? Crap. I don't know where my scale is. I feel like it should be in this closet that I'm in. But it is not. Oh, there it is. Yay! Actually, I need to see if it's dead. Okay. All right. The weight is... What are our guesses? Okay, wait it once. Let's do another one. Do it once again. Okay. Call one of you is really close. 14.8 pounds 14.8 so i mean virt it's almost 15 the people that said 15 you were the closest 15 pounds but it's kind of oddly shaped it's also a lot heavier on this side on this side right here twenty five pounds come on that's a little much right 14.8, basically 15 pounds. I mean, it, it, I mean it, it is. And it's if you see me hold it up, you see how it's tilting to one side? It's heavier on this side. All right, let's do this. Let's see if it kind of slides out easy. Isn't that always satisfying? Ooh, there we go, just like that. A nice glide. All right, we opened it up. Okay. So we opened the Amazon box, and then this box, and now we've got another box. And I also tore the box a little bit already. It was really cheap, the outer thing. So another box in a box. Not much on it. PlayStation logo, nothing around the sides. Sorry, it went out of focus. Hello, camera. Refocus, please. Refocus. Did I just break my camera? Okay, there we go. Okay. So yeah, there's not much on this one. All right, we're gonna open it up. It's got about three, a couple tabs back here to pull out. We're gonna open that up. There are instructions about how to pull this out of the box. Let me, let me turn it around and make sure I, I follow the instructions here. Okay, so it wants me to do this and then pull up. Oh, there's a tab. There's a tab right here. It said pull that up and take this out. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what's in here. So this box was on top. Okay, looks like we got our, here. <clears throat> let's take some time. We'll, we're gonna go slow with this. Is that cool? Let's go a little slow with this. We'll, we'll get that part later. Let's go through this part. All right, so we got a manual. 
I've got a couple of them here. Quick start manual. Mm-hmm. I actually haven't seen what the menus look like. Interesting. Okay, manual right there. Other manual for it's the safety guide. It'll blow yourself up. All right, uh, let's look in this. There's a little thing in here. I got something. What is this? Well, here we got a HDMI, HDMI cable. All right, let's see what's in here. Actually, not sure what this is. See, it? it's kind of it almost looks like a. I don't know, it's circular. It's almost like one of those boom mic covers. Okay, I'm guessing this is the stand. It's like a stand right here. I mean, I just looked at a quick image of the menu and it looked kind of cool. All right, so we got that. We got power cord, pretty standard. It looks basically like the same one uh, the PS4 used. I'm not sure if they take different power or something, but I'll make sure to use this one. All right, and then we got cable here. This looks like a charge cable for the uh, the controller. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> charge cable, I think, for the controller. And then here is the controller, it looks like. So let's put this down. Put this down over here. Let's keep everything nice. Boom. Okay, initial feelings. Feels good. Buttons feel grippier a little bit. Maybe it's just because it's new. The texture on the back is uh, a little bit, uh, has a little more grip to it. Here, let me grab my other, the PS4 controller. Or at least the PS4 or Pro. And it does, it is, does have, it's not totally smooth and it does have a little bit of grip. This one, this PS5 controller definitely has more grip. By size, let's compare. I'm putting them both straight up right now. The PS5 controller is a little bit chunkier, which is a good thing to me. I always thought that, actually I've thought this about all PlayStation controllers. I think they're all uncomfortable. It's too skinny right here. And the way you have to hold it makes it makes your wrist like this. It's, you can't really play it like this which I like in controllers, because you can't really cover everything holding like this. It's really meant to be played kind of like with your elbows out. And I always felt it kind of hurt my wrists right here. Okay, anyway, so it is bigger. D-pad, similar. I feel like the D-pad buttons stick out a little bit more, which is nice. Let's compare it a little bit. Yeah, it sticks out a little more. The, the PS4 one's a little bit flatter. It also is, it has a rim and it's flat around here. Where this doesn't have a flat area around it, it's still curved. So I feel like accessing the buttons on this D-pad is easier. I do feel like this is easier. I, I, I think I like this D-pad a little bit more than the PS4. Now the buttons, the other buttons, they might stick out a little bit more on the PS5 controller, like they're taller, which is not a bad thing. It feels more like a button. It's also, it doesn't have this as a flat area right here. 
and it's still a little bit curved. So I feel like the buttons, the buttons do feel a little bit more comfortable. All right, sticks. Let's compare the sticks real quick. One thing I wanted to see is how far apart they were from each other. So like, if that makes sense. One thing I like about the Xbox controllers, I like the offset where, well here, I have an X, I use, um, actually I don't own an Xbox One, but I use an Xbox One controller for my computer. So you can compare, by the way, now we can compare a little bit with this, with the different consoles, Xbox One, PS4, and then uh, the PlayStation 5. Um, Xbox controllers, in my opinion, are definitely better than PlayStation controllers. Are definitely better. I'm gonna grab my chair, by the way. All right, this is a lot more comfortable. So anyway, here's your comparison. If you wanted to see the three kind of next to each other, a little dusty, but anyway, let's go back to comparing the two PlayStation controllers. So. Yeah, um, I think look wise, I think this controller, this this PS5 controller, it looks this looks great. I think this looks nice. Now, hopefully, the white one thing that can happen with con white consoles is they can stain like white consoles and stuff. So one thing to to think about if um, the white fades. You look at old Nintendos, old consoles, like stuff like that, and um, uh, they they this can fade. It can yellow. You know what I mean? So we'll see. It is grippier. The back is quite grippy. Now someone was saying something about how the grip is X's and Y's. Actually, you're right. It's it's like, I would never, if someone hadn't said it, you would never, sorry, it's really glary here. I, I would never have been able to tell that it almost on like a microscopic level. I mean, it's it's probably impossible to, this is going to probably ruin the focus, but I doubt you can tell. No, that's not going to focus right. Sorry. A booty. Thanks for subbing on YouTube. Anyway, but yeah, on a very tiny level, it looks like, yeah, you're right. You, you kind of have to see it. It's too hard to see on a thing, but you can see there's a, like X's, triangles, and squares and stuff. The, the, the different um, symbols here is part of the grip. That's kind of cool. I'm really impressed that they could have machinery to do it that small. I mean, it's, it's tiny. You would not, honestly, you would not probably notice if you didn't hear that that's how that's how the design was but anyways it makes it's good grip all right how about the uh the thumbsticks they pretty much feel identical and i would say the ps5 one's grippy but i mean these obviously wear down over time so they get a little bit smoother they seem are they the same size Okay, the joysticks, the thumbsticks are the same size. So pretty, pretty similar on the sticks. And they do look to be the same width apart from each other. All right, anyway. But yeah, feels good. Um, on as compared here, looks like you still got the touchpad up top. You've got the PlayStation button. You've got um, a speaker. Now, one thing it looks like the PS5 controller has is a mute button. It has the like a mute symbol a microphone through with a slash through it right here. So it looks like this has a mute button. That's actually really handy. I think. Now some uh, you know if you're going to get a third party headset, it's probably you know you do your mute button like up here on my headset like I do. But if you're probably doing the built-in, well actually I don't even think it has a built-in mic. You know what? Someone will have to confirm this, but for some reason I was wondering, or I thought just now, did they say this has, the PS5 controller has a built-in mic in it, in the controller? 
I don't know. The controller has a built-in mic. Okay, a couple people are saying on Twitch that it has a built-in mic. Okay, so you could talk. So that's actually really cool. That means anybody can play with a mic. But I mean, it's. Uh, I, well, uh, I'll have to like test it sometime because I mean, you're playing with the mic down here. Is it gonna pick you up? Is it gonna pick up everything in the room? You gotta. You, you're gonna want to make sure that this is not just on when you don't. Yeah, we're on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Terry. Uh, Mr. Terry History. So I, I just have this vision that you're going to be playing online. And yeah, there's just going to be this person that doesn't even know that the mic is on. And then it's just like, yeah, eating chips. <laughs> Kids in the room. People swearing. Not safe for work stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Parents want, you know what I mean? So I don't know. They're gonna have to. Hopefully, it takes a few steps to, uh, um, to be able to like activate that when you're in the middle of playing. The one kid in game chat is gonna go from "Do you have a mic?" to "I know you have a mic. Turn it on. <laughs> Turn on your mic." Swear word. Okay. Anyways, what do you guys think style wise? What do you rate this controller? What do you what do you think? And then do this. Let's rate. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Here's the the controllers of the last generations, right? Okay, rank the three. Angel, thanks for following on Twitch. PS5, PS4, Xbox One. What do you guys think? Now I'm gonna have to play with this. But one thing I already know, I like by far, it's actually not even close. I like the, the Xbox One controller over the PS4 controller. Functionally, this is way more comfortable. The chunkier, it's better for hand placement. I, I like the way the controls. Now the Xbox, I will say the, the one thing about Xbox One controller, it is slippery. It has no grip whatsoever. And I know the PS4 controller doesn't have a lot of grip. It does have a little more. This, just by design, is grippier. It has a smooth finish on the top, so that's pretty slick on the like where your thumbs are right here. But back here, it is it is grippy. Uh, my dog is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Come here, sit. There you go, sit. Good boy. This is Frankie. He's my buddy. He's a good boy. Okay. All right. So we're seeing like 7 out of 10 on the PS5. Kyan says PS5, 7 out of 10. PS4, 4 out of 10. Xbox, 10 out of 10. Hey, we got a host. Banana Gamer, thanks for hosting. Anyway, is that good? Anybody have any questions on... Uh, the controllers? I think design-wise, like, I think this is beautiful, man. I love the white... And the black and stuff, like the, the, the contours. I think this looks fantastic. Oh, we haven't even got to the console yet. The best controller ever, when you, when you factor in how it feels, but also the improvement it made on previous controllers, to me is, is the Xbox 360 controller. It's the Xbox 360 controller. Is it bigger than PS4 controller? Yes. Oh, we're talking controllers. Yes. Look, it is bigger, but in a good way. The PS, the 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 PlayStation 4 controller is too skinny. The handles are too skinny, and it's just it's it's too skinny. By the way, I have you guys on uh, YouTube, or if you're on Twitch, on my YouTube channel. Um, I did a, a, a tier list of all con controllers ever, pretty much. But I think the 360 made the biggest jump in controllers. You know what I mean? I think, I think it is... Yeah, it, the 360 does have a horrible D-pad, but here's the thing. You don't use a D-pad anymore. Not for D-pad intensive games. How do you activate the built-in mic? I have no idea. I have no idea. But there is a button here for the mic. Now, I, it, it looks just like a mute button, though, but maybe you can do one of each. We'll, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. 
price. Um, disc version is five hundred dollars, four ninety nine. Um, four hundred dollars for the digital version with no drive. I bought the drive version. Now I have not seen the new Xbox Series X uh, controller. I don't have an Xbox Series X. Maybe I will one day. Um, the D-pad I will tell you is better. It is better um, on the PS5 controller. It is better. The reason why is the buttons uh, stick up higher. And the middle of the D-pad and the Xbox controller, because it's hard to, hard to explain, but the buttons are angled. Where on the outsides, they're at its highest point, and then they tilt in a lot. And in the middle, it's almost, if you're pushing the mid, like the, towards the middle of the D-pad, you can easily hit multiple buttons at the same time. Xbox Series X controller is basically identical to the x -Bone. I mean, that makes sense because it's already a great controller. When is it coming out? It came out today. PS5 came out today. Where I feel like on the Xbox, or sorry, PS5 controller, it's, um, you're going to have more accuracy on the middle of the D-pad. But it's still pretty close. Anyway. But I, I do think this, is a, this, this controller is an upgrade. Is it going to be as good as the, you know, other controller? It feels, it's nice and um, hardy. One thing I feel like the Xbox One controller, it can feel a little bit, I don't know if cheap is the right word, but I like the, uh, I like how it holds. Did you prefer the original console, 360 console design or the smaller glossy version? I like the three. I think the 360 looks cool. It's good. Okay. Any other, uh, any other questions on the controllers? So we'll go ahead and put these away and we'll get, uh, yeah, Xbox One controller does feel, it feels a little, it might feel a little cheap, but it's, it's comfortable and that's, that's more important. You know what else I just noticed is, um, look at the bottoms of the handles on the controllers. You'll see like, it's, it's like a sharp edge where on the Xbox or the PlayStation 4, it's a rounded right here. It's like really rounded. This is like a, has like a sharp edge to it. It's not, I mean, not really sharp, but it's kind of, it's almost flat. Like, could you, it's not like you could set it up or anything, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It might actually make it look better the way it is right on the bottom. How st okay, let's, oh yeah, we didn't really test triggers. Okay, triggers, are they longer? Is it a longer pull? There's more surface area on the triggers. They're bigger. Yeah, Ariel, thanks for subbing on YouTube. There's, uh, there's more surface area. The, for both of them, both the bumpers and the triggers are bigger. And I think that's fine. I think that's fine. You feel pretty similar as far as like resistance goes. The PlayStation controller, like the, the trigger feels a little clickier. Like you really hit it, hit the, when you push it all the way in, it really hits hard. This seems a little bit softer in a way. Um, a little bit softer here. And it kind of goes, when you push down, it kind of goes forward, whatever. Yeah, I mean, they still have, I think, I think this is still a touchpad. The, the touchpad on here, you know, is kind of almost bumpy in a way. You had that. Um, this one's pure, it's totally smooth. No games really utilized. Nobody, nobody really utilized the touchpad. Very few games utilize this touchpad. I think the PS4 touchpad was a total waste. I think it's a, it was a waste of money, probably. Like, some games you might be like, you do the thing and you like, you, maybe you flick on the touchpad. Or they tried to use the keyboard, like you use the keyboard like that. It's like, eh. I, I, I think the touchpad was overall a waste of money. Not necessary. 
So I don't know if they invested as much in this or if they're just like, hey, let's just make it a big button. <laughs> you know? So it's hard to say. All right, there's two buttons on here. They look like they're probably, they don't have a name for these buttons. But on the PlayStation, the uh, left button, so this one, you know, this one here is the share button. So that's where you pull up to start streaming or whatever. And then this is an options button. I'm assuming that's kind of the same thing. Q Starps playing? No, we're doing an unboxing, dude. Cool. All right, should we get to the console? Okay. All right, we'll put that away. And put these other controllers away over here. Is the controller, it's not a lot bigger, but it is bigger. All right, back to the console. All right. Okay, inside is the console. See how it's packaged? You wanna see how it's packaged in there? It's pretty tight. Pretty good job there. Okay. Now they actually put instructions in here. Just, I mean, you pull it out, so. Always nervous about this kind of thing. Put it right here on the chair real quick. Let's see, nothing else in the box. Not sure which way is down or up at this moment. Got a question, will my progress be saved if I have a disc game on PS5 but decide to get the digital game? Wait, why would you do that? I couldn't tell you. All right, let's be careful. We'll take off one side, toss that over here. Another side over here. Okay, just had two of these. All right, we got a bag here. I think we'll set this thing upright. I'm pretty sure this is the top and the front. All right, shall we? Here we go. It's gonna get naked here. Okay, it's actually wrapped up. It's not in a bag. All right, here we go. We're in dressing her. Here we go. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. <laughs> Got some craigasms over there. There she is. Now I will say, <laughs> the 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 disc version looks worse. Like look look how it's all off centered, kinda. Now this thing is tall. Here's the back. Yeah, this is this is this is this is really gonna put out some good Wi-Fi, isn't it? Dude, this thing is way bigger than I well, I mean not way bigger. It's this is bigger than I thought. Okay, here's my like elbow to my hand. I mean it's it's like there. Nothing on this side. Okay, but there's the front. There's the disc. We'll plug her in later. We'll plug her in. All right, let's look. How does it look flat? Now, the thing is, I don't think you really make it flat. Oh, by the way, I had this thing. I 
I don't think you really, it doesn't really make sense to make it go flat. Because, well, let me just see what happens. Is it even like, no, it's wobbly. It's wobbly. Okay. All right then, so what we're gonna do is use the stand. And this should probably take out the wobble in it. Now where does it go? I just want to see. I just want to see what they said on it. <laughs> Safety guide. Yeah, use the stand. All right, so it goes like this, and like this. This part in the back. It's gonna be diagonal a little bit. Interesting. Like this? Oh, okay. There, you can't, okay, I don't know if you can tell. Can't really tell, but right here. No, it's not to stand up tall, it's to make it flat. There's some, uh, the X, or square, triangle, circle, X. It's all, uh, right there. And that lines up. It says, that specifically lines it up. Right on there. Now I can also see what they're doing is they want airflow. Okay, there it is. That's how it goes. But this takes up Okay, so now it's not wobbly at all. The, the, the wobble here is for my table. But I mean, this takes up so much horizontal room that I think I'm going to want to stand it up anyways. Like, you're going to want to stand it up anyways. All right, want me to grab the PS4? Yeah, we'll do that. It's right, it's just right here. You go. So yeah, I mean it's it's definitely bigger. It's about the PS4 
is a little wider, like this way. It is wider that way, but it's much, much thinner. <laughs> that look. Now let me put on the vertical stand. Um, this can convert into being vertical. Looks like it goes something like this. Is there something a little more substantial to slide it in with here? Okay, so there it is with that on. Yeah, there's like a there's a, a, a screw you put in, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Once again, here's the comparison. Yeah, it's way bigger. Look at this thing. I mean, the PlayStation. The PlayStation 3 was really big. Yo, fake Mountain Goat, you gotta chill, dude. You've gotta chill. If you're gonna be here, you've got to chill. Anyway. I feel like, I feel like I'm being the parent or the, 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 the teacher here. <laughs> the spin now. Anyway. Cool. All right. So, uh, which way am I going to do it? I think, unfortunately, is my, my stand I have it on or for it, it's kind of wobbly. Four back over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it somewhere else. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. PS5 is gonna go behind my computer because it'll be better that way. But yeah, we need to uh, get the mounting screw. Yeah, the, I mean, the sideways, just for gravitational purposes, makes more sense. But it just takes up so much space. So much space. I know, like, upright, it does. Like, even with a stand, it's just kind of scary, right? Okay, for now, because I don't really want to put the screw and stuff on right now, we're going to lay it flat. We'll lay it flat. I've never really done any of my consoles, like, uh, sat them right side up. I think we'll just keep it like this. All right.
Okay. So we got that stuff. It is, it is, it is a console though that like, you notice it. Like when you put the PS4 in by your Blu-ray player and all that stuff, your cable box, um, it's like you don't even notice it. You know, you don't even notice it. Like this, you go in and you're like, oh, like, whoa. Like, what is that? First of all, it's white, but then it's kind of, you know, the interesting shape here. All right, should we hook this baby up? You got your PS5 tonight? Hey, all right. Were they, uh, our orders finally going through? I was very lucky. I was able to get a, co uh, a, a, a code, not from like being a streamer or something, but um, somebody shared with me a Amazon um, code to, pre like, a, like a URL to pre-order. I think before it might have gone like official. Um, so I was able to get it and amazingly got to keep the thing. Cause a lot of, a lot of times people got, they, they pre-ordered and then they didn't get it. Uh, like they had it canceled or something like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm afraid of, of yellowing for sure. If that's going to be a thing. Now, overall, do I like the design? Not really. I don't really, but I mean, who gives a crap? I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> but I don't I don't think it's a very good design. I don't think it's really that it's not very good looking to me. All right, but I'm going to set this on a more secure table over here. <clears throat> now one thing I need, I'm going to need more I need another uh outlet. By the way, did you see the front? Pretty simple. It's got one USB. It's only got one USB on the front. And then, oh, well, it's got the, it's got a USB. Oh, and then the micro USB. And then an eject button and then a, a power button. But pretty clean looking front side there. Okay. Now I don't have to get in the back here in a sec. I mean, it's it's big. It is a big freaking console. The biggest one I have. That I've ever owned. I mean, the only thing comparable, the Xbox, the original Xbox is also, I mean, that's, that's a really big console as well. All right, but we're going to get this thing hooked up and we'll see what's up. Is it gonna have like hours of installing and crap on it? We'll see. By the way, um, welcome to everybody. We have a lot of viewers over on YouTube right now. Um, we, what do we got, like over 200? Thanks for being here. If you don't know me, I'm Mr. Terry. I'm a history teacher. Uh, my main YouTube channel is Mr. Terry History. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you're watching my gaming channel. If you don't know what I do. Um, we're also dual streaming on Twitch. So we're also streaming Mr. Terry History on Twitch. So if you want to follow. Um, we also have a Discord. Um, do we have mods? I saw Byte was here. Any other mods out there that can uh, navigate everybody? But thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, I got to go off stream, and or not off stream, but off camera, and get this stuff hooked up. So over there, I'll keep talking. I got my mic, so we'll get that going. Let's get the power going first i'm out of uh <clears throat> what i gotta say i gotta sacrifice something here because i am out of plugs what gets sacrificed i might have to maybe i move the ps4 i think we are going to move the ps4 Actually, what I'm going to do, I need to use this. This little table will now be the, the PS4 table. And then I'm going to put my Switch on top of the PS4. I 
Actually, I don't know if I can even do that. Let's see. Just need space. Always need space. I need a bigger desk in general. All right, let's grab the PS4. PS4 is getting a new home over here. Dog, what are you chewing on? Hey, no. No. All right, PS4, you are going away. Still be playing my PS4 sometime. I just got the new D the Destiny DLC, so we're definitely going to be playing that. I want to play that some more. On or off stream, I'm not positive, but... All right, so right now I'm plugging in the power. <clears throat> At least I'm going to be. The printer. Power cable to the PS4 right there. Replaced by PS5 cable. The uh, PS4 power cable is uh, going to be re relegated to the, the little the little power strip on the other side of the office. So we'll get that going. Everyone's having a good night. All right, there we go. We're plugging this baby in right now. I put my dog on the stream, but he's kind of glued to me. That's how he rolls. This thing already kind of tipped when I had to push down on it. All right, now I'm grabbing the HDMI cable. HDMI cable is going in, and then I'm plugging it into the computer, into the capture card. It's in. All right, so we got power. Well, let's get the Ethernet hooked up to it. Ethernet port. It's got two uh, 3.0 USBs on the back, or no, two, two 3.0 USBs, and it's got a USB on the front, and then it looks like a micro. USB on the front. All right, come back around for y'all, and we'll fire this thing up. All right, welcome back. Dog, move. I'm getting sweaty because I'm fat and out of shape. All right, we all doing okay? Everyone hanging in there? I feel like I'm weird. My desk. My chair lower. All right, I'm gonna plug in also the controller cable. Yeah, I mean, depending on what download times are, I mean, we can play. Maybe we can play some Valhalla, but uh, I'm not. I'm just not sure what what uh, what all is gonna be part of this install. If it's gonna be like a long install, you know, something like that, then who knows. Okay, we're gonna plug in. I figure let's start with the controller plugged in. All right, I'm sure there's information off the enter that I don't want people to see, but we'll see what's going on here. Let me get chat over on the other screen. Probably, let's pop out chat. All right, but we're gonna boot this thing up. You guys ready? The initial boot up, let's see what happens. Always interesting to see, right? Hello, Twitch chat, I'm getting you going. Horizon Zero Dawn, the new one. 
Like, yeah. Is that early? Like, what part of 2021 is uh, the New Horizon Zero Dawn? Is it early? Is it mid? Is it late? I mean, who knows these days? Games get delayed like crazy, but you know what I mean? All right, we're going to pull up Streamlabs. Sorry, guys, we're almost ready. I seriously feel like my chair is lower. Why? Who messed with my chair? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just... I think I'm tripping. I'm just tripping here. All right, here we go. Um, let me... I'm going to switch... I'm going to switch scenes here. Let's do this. All right, let me post the PS5. All right, we're turning it on. Anything happening yet on your end? The controller kind of turned on, but let me... Uh... I don't think it's paired yet, actually. Okay, I pushed manually. I pushed the power button. Legato did something. Flickered for a second. Hopefully it works with the Elgato. You all heard the beep, right? Got a lot of, it's got a few lights on it, like on the actual console. Eduardo, Eduardo, thank you. Elgato's not reading it yet. The console's on, but the Elgato is not reading it right now. Let's uh, deactivate it and then reactivate it. See how this works. Still nothing right now. All right, this guy looks like a troll. I'm just going to boot him out for a sec. It's on. It's just the signal. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to pl plug it directly into my monitor real fast. Because I think it's not um, cooperating with the uh, capture card yet. Maybe based on its settings. So, one sec. I'll let you know what I see. And then uh, once that's in, we'll try to, I'll get it to the capture card, hopefully. Elgato stuff is, uh, is usually, like it can be kind of finicky, like picking up certain things. Okay, so you can't see it right now, but I do have um, I do have a menu right here, but I obviously want to show this to you, but that's good. I do have a menu right now. Here, actually, let me show you. And then I'll, I'll try to get it on the capture card. It looks like this right now. Like it's doing the select your language kind of thing. See that? Okay. We'll do that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to... Um, the one thing is it may not project onto my... Uh, um, 
or pick, picked up by uh, till I format the screen. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I mean, all all I'm doing is like English setup, all that kind of thing. Well, we'll try. Let's try. Hold on. Let's try one more time. Let's get this back in. Any success? The Elgato is not picking it up right now. Okay. All right, so yeah, the, the Elgato isn't picking up. I think I need to um, probably get the uh, output settings right before it can get picked up here. So let me deactivate it and then activate it one more time. Okay. Wait, you see it? No, you don't. All right, you're you're annoying. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, I'll need to uh, change those settings. So let me get it set up here. And then we'll get to what it all looks like and stuff. Okay. All right, let me go back to, uh... plus I'm gonna be entering stuff like personal information on here. So we'll do that. Okay, I'll set this up super quick. It's just like, okay, what language? Um... Just, okay, just adjusting the display area, that kind of stuff. Insert a game disc. Okay, so I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla, PS5. And we're going to uh, put that in. Because it says it will... Yeah, I can't even, I actually can't even hear it. Like, my PS5 is pretty loud. So it says it'll install my game um, while, while we do this. So we're going to do that. Valhalla. School. All right, so I'm putting this in. I think once I get this set up, and then I'll be able to, the Elgato should be able to pick it up. That's my prediction. Okay, now it's doing like power options. I'll just do the recommended settings. PS5 agreement, software license agreement. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. The disc isn't now, and now I can hear it, but it's better. All right, um, we got to update the system software, of course. How long is this crap going to take? We'll give you guys an estimate. Okay, it's re my PS5 is restarting right now. Here, this will be lame, but it'll be until it gets formatted. It's not going to be able to um, go on the Elgato. It won't be able to be captured, but here, we'll do a busted version of this right now. <laughs> this is my webcam pointed at the, pointed at the, <laughs> at my monitor. 
blurry as crap. Okay, there we go. So at least this is better than nothing while we're getting set up before it can be actually captured. Um, no, I don't have Spider-Man. Did Sp Spider-Man a release title? Um, no, I have I have Valhalla, and then tomorrow is release day for uh, on the PS5 for Call of Duty Black or Call of Duty Cold War, and I have that uh, will be mailed to me tomorrow. All right, PS5 is resetting. It's installing its uh, its settings and stuff right now. Our right, installation. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be too slow. It's at twenty percent already. I just hope it's not going to be a long download so that we can actually play tonight, play a little bit. At least just kind of get started, you know. Yeah, I think we'll bounce around a little bit. I don't want to burn out on either game, so like I don't want to burn out of Valhalla, so we'll, you know, we'll play it and then maybe do a day of uh, like Call of Duty. Make sure you guys are following on Twitch and on uh, Mr. Terry Gaming on YouTube. GTA 5? No, I don't have it for this. I've played GTA 5 on three consoles. <laughs> 360, PC, and PS4. Isn't it amazing that... Isn't isn't, isn't GTA 5 going to be on the uh, PS5 as well? Making it on three different... Uh, three different consoles. Alright, so let's get through this stuff, and then hopefully it'll start capturing. It's just... Okay, press, press the PS button. Astro's Playroom is downloading. A new version of the wireless controller device software is available. Your console won't need to restart for this update. Okay. So now we're downloading controller software. Are you in America? Yes. Swedish pagans marching ashore. Good old Sabaton. Kind of cool. Did did the PS4 have like wireless controller software? All right, so I'm gonna do my sign in and stuff here right now for my account. So I'm gonna turn you guys around at me while I do this, and then I'm hoping we can. Uh, after this, I'll try to see if the Elgato capture will will pick up on it. Can you guys hear audio at all? I don't hear anything right now, but it could just be the capture. Doing my login. Yeah, there's no... I don't think there's any audio period right now. Just fine. You don't need music all the time. You could also do a QR code to sign in. Interesting. All right, so this is like adjust privacy settings by choosing a profile. I generally do a little more private on this. I'll show you, I'll show you, I can show you what this part looks like. No, we're live. We'll just show you a little bit more of the setup here. And then get the, hopefully get the capture card going after we get the settings done. So it's like privacy things, social and open. I like to maximize my chances to can be to connect, be seen, and socialize. Team player, effortless multiplayer, but I limit who knows my real identity. Friend focus, anything for my crew, more restrictions for strangers. I keep a low profile and choose who I want to interact with. I think I'm going to do friend focused. 
Your friends know you best. They can see your gaming history, games, and broadcasts. They can chat with you, invite you to play multiplayer games, and check out the latest trophies. Other players, they can ask to become your friend, but they still need your permission. Your real name will be visible only to those. Actually, I don't want ex I don't want friend requests. So, go back. I'm gonna go solo. I need to uncheck the HDCP. Oh yeah, I had to do that on the PS4 too. I just I'm not to that part yet where I can do that. Um, you're here to focus on the games. Other players won't be able to see your gaming history, games, or where or who your other friends are. They won't be able to ask to be your friend. You control your letter, and the friends you add can see what you're online and communicate with you. Your real name will visible only to friends in the PlayStation Network engine. However, you'll still only see your ID within games. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. Help us build the best PlayStation experience. To improve our services and fix bugs, we retain certain usage data. Let me turn you guys a little bit. This consists of limiting or limited data that's necessary for your console to work correctly and additional usage and settings data. What do you do you guys ever do you guys do this stuff? Like where you share information? You can choose not to share at any time. You can change your settings at any time by going to settings. I feel like I don't like doing this. PS5 can control and record your party chats. I'm sure they all did that anyways before, right? You guys do this? Usually allow. Allow that. Oh, it didn't come with a, ca a camera, Charlie. No, I don't like doing that. I, I don't really like that. I don't need any more Big Brother. Secure your accounts. Okay, I got to do a passcode and stuff. Let me uh, Let me change that real quick. We'll just do it like this for a second. <laughs> All right. After you enter a password, you send a verification node that you will enter on uh, password. Double chin hype. It's going to send me a text message. A camera view. I saw the camera there uh, at Best, or I was at Best Buy picking up my game. And um, I was like, do I need that? But I mean, I capture on my. Um, on my computer now, so. Sorry guys, I can't have you see this part of the screen. This has got like personal info. You know how they send you text messages. Do you think a monitor is worth? Oh yeah, monitor is everything, man. All right, let's get my text in. Okay, it's two-step verification. My monitor is a Samsung something or other, some 4K. I got it around, when did I get this? Like the spring or something. My gosh, there's all these backup codes. If you don't have your phone, I can't I record, I recorded these backup. Each backup code can only be used once. All right, there's something I gotta like take a picture of for backup codes. Man, they're taking uh, which I'm fine with taking security pretty serious. So yeah, I have a 4K monitor. Um, I can't do like 4K 60 or anything like that. I should get another one sometime. Family on PlayStation. All right, I think I can turn this around now. You guys can see a little bit. Boop. Set up a family to tailor your children's experience. Sorry, I don't I don't have that. I can download all this crap. I don't want any of this on my I don't want any of this on here. I don't need any of the, what the heck is Peacock? I don't need any of these. I'm not going to be watching that stuff on my PlayStation. 
Transfer data from your PS4. Ooh. Quickly finish configuring your PS5 by bringing over your users, games, and save data from your PS4. If you want to do this later, you can transfer just your games and save data. Is the uh, save data, is it all cloud stuff? Yeah, what the heck is Peacock? What is that? Yeah, the, the info is to help personalize, to help get a better experience to help you. Like, what the heck? Peacock, is it like an NBC thing? That sounds like it'd be an NBC thing. We'll do this, we'll do this later, the transferring, because I can play, like, Destiny and stuff on this PS5. I, like, I don't need to really even play. I'm hoping I don't really even need to play or, you know, like, get my PS4 hooked up anymore. All right, so I'm going to click do this later. Hey. Okay, we'll change the one setting so I can capture it. Look. Look. All the things. All right, who knows who this is? This is my profile picture. Focus. Dang it. Can anyone tell what this is? No, not. Oh, Valhalla's ready to play already? Hey! Oh, you can't tell the profile picture, can you? It is Bobby Hill. Because look. People say I look like Bobby Hill. Dang it, Bobby. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and try to get the setting on where now I can... Uh, be able to capture because there's a setting you have to change you had to do it on the ps4 as well yeah it was blurry <laughs> so let me uh let me go ahead and find that real quick The connected HDMI device does not support HDCP or video apps that support 4K might be affected by this. What do they mean? I don't know what that means. TV doesn't support HDR either. Okay, wait, how How do I disable the uh, HDCP stuff? Connected HDMI device does not support HDCP, which is fine, right? Isn't that what I want? Oh, here we go. Wait, do I want HDCP or no? To capture. Someone was telling me about this earlier. Do I want it on? Do I want to enable HDCP? I'm not, I know capturing requires that. It's like you want it or you don't. Does anybody remember? I forgot which way it is. You do not. You do not want it. But that was the default. I feel, wait, maybe not. Okay, hold on, let's try this. Okay. All right, I clicked the thing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, never mind, yeah, it was it was on, but now we're gonna disable it, and now let's see if, uh, um, I'm, I'm hoping right now it'll capture. So let me, I'm gonna switch to here, and hopefully we should see. The default looks like it was on. It has a switch. It's stupid. It's like one of those slider switches, but it doesn't say like if it's on or off on the slider. So it's like not useful at all. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and I'm putting, um, I'm plugging into the capture card now, and I'm hoping right about now it comes up. To fill the screen without showing black borders. Hey! Oh, it's talking now all of a sudden. Or you see black borders. Press the I didn't have audio. Look, guys. 
To make your screen image larger, press the up button. To make your screen image smaller, press the down Hey, and you got button. audio. Okay. Button. Press cross to select. Should we get my better setup? We'll just stick with this, I guess. Now I can't get it on my screen. Oh, I, duh. Oh wait, no, it needs to be on HDMI one. I mean, it's on the capture, but I'm not getting it on my monitor right now. Shut up, we're playing games. Okay, right now I'm not able to get it on my main screen. Why is it doing this again? Adjust HDR one out of three. Adjust your PS5's HDR, high dynamic range, setting to optimize the video quality of your games. Press the up and down buttons to adjust the brightness until the symbol is barely visible. To make the symbol brighter, You guys usually stick the to what button. they say on this. To make the symbol darker, press the down button. Next. Button. So you want it so it uh, barely visible. Do you guys consider like this barely visible? What do you usually do? Like that? Adjust HDR to adjust this setting a second time. Press the up and down buttons to adjust the brightness until the symbol is barely visible. To make the symbol brighter, press the up button. To make the symbol so like brighter, that. press the down button. Next. Adjust HDR 3 out of 3. One last time. Press the up and down buttons. System. Enable HDMI device link. Enable HDMI. Why is it doing like HDMI the microphone everywhere? Link. Or like not the mic, the voice button. everywhere. Press cross to select. I can't get it to go on my my screen anymore. I'm only able to see it through the capture right now. Hmm. Huh. Why is that? Enable it in HDMI. I can't see my monitor, but I can see it in the Enable capture, time. like in OBS. Button. I can see it in OBS, Press but not the. Flag. Date and time. Button. Settings. Ex screen and video. Video output and video output information. Resolution. Oh, it's the resolution is too much. I can't do that resolution. Screen and video. Video resolution. To move, press the up. 1080p. Let me try something. The screen without showing black borders. If the circles are cut off or you see black borders, okay, press the up and that's down better. Buttons to adjust the display area. To make your screen image larger, yeah, I, don't, my, I can't do bigger than the 1080. To make your that. screen image smaller, press the down button. Screen and video resolution 1080p video screen. Video I actually probably need to do the brightness again. Adjust. Adjust HDR one out. Hey, we can do HDR now. Adjust your PS5's HDR. High okay. Dynamic range setting to up. Adjust HDR two out of three. Adjust HDR three out of three. One last time. Screen and video. Adjust one more time, real quick. HDR one out of three. Adjust your PS5's HDR. High dynamic range setting. Adjust HDR two out of three. Adjust this. Adjust HDR 3 out of 3. One last time. 
Press the button. Okay. Screen and video. Okay, that looks pretty good. Color. Adjust HDR. Button. Resu video. Settings. Settings. Sir. You media. PlayStation Now. List. PlayStation Plus. Astros Play. It does kind of seem dark, but let's go ahead. And All right, you guys ready? Should we say? Mr. Terry. Yeah. How do I heck do I get this? I don't need. I don't need the bot telling settings. me everything. Accessibility. Invert colors. Display screen reader. Enable screen reader. Oh gosh. Okay, that was screen reader. <laughs> That's a default. I mean, I guess that makes sense if you're uploading it and you don't have your have a vision impairment or something. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. All right. All right, guys. Should we try some Valhalla? Change our stream title. Okay. How my how's my mic doing? To enable menu narration. Oh my gosh. They want to do it again. No. I mean, I appreciate the uh, accommodations. I could, I, I might go back to my regular mic though. Can I adjust this? It's not bright enough. Is it because I already got the HDR crap on? Do you guys like HDR? Nudity. Oh no. Oh no. Um, alright, what do we got here? Subtitles? Yeah. We like that on. Close captions. Let's turn it on and see how it is. I just feel like it's really dark. Ooh, this frame rate. This, I mean, that doesn't show real well. It is so smooth. Like, look at these menus. Audio language pack has been added to your game. You must return to the title screen to use it. We'll go explore combat difficulty. Let's go Vikinger, Berserker, Dringer. We're just gonna go regular and everything. I did beat Syndicate. Here we go. Silence, you children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand, there was no sea, no earth, nor sky, that was fast. no grass, nor wind. 
until fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed, yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and walk. I might actually turn off HDR. I, I feel like it's way too dark. There you are. Little boy? Let's get outside and see. Okay. Yeah, frame rate is nice. It probably looks better on the, uh, mine. Little Viking boy. Yeah, this color range actually sucks. Scald. Let me try this again. Is this going to take it off? I just want to see if I can actually stream at the higher... No, I can't stream at that higher resolution. It's got to be at 1080. Interesting. Maybe on my TV. If I was on my actual TV. Yeah, I'm going to turn this off. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. I don't know if it, does it look more colorful for you guys. Okay, I got to get used to the. Let's get used to these new uh, things. New menu. Back to the game, okay. Now I can like, oh yeah, this looks way better. Like contrast. Whoa. We'll do like this. Okay, this looks way more colorful now. Dude, these guys are jamming. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, these graphics are nice and smooth. Oh, there you are, my little drinker. For sure. Go. So, you see our king? PS5 is quiet. Did you find the ring? Yes. No. No, for all there's a plan. You see us talking. Quiet as a mouse. And surprise him with our gift. When you hold it out like this, you look him in the eyes and you say, Stirbjörn King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. Ah, some Viking politics here? How's game audio? Sound okay. Tonight, you. I wonder if my headset will work. Be the call to unite our people. Air five. I'm so proud of you, Neymar. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to dance. I can dance. Let's look what Viking dancing looks like. Dude, I might as well be wearing a kilt.
We got any Vikings in the chat? What was this? Oh, no drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I have it sent you for your father. I'm not drinking? How, look how young I am. Peace. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. You're not getting any mead. Is this how young the kids drank? Hey, where's Winter? Where's she at? When you speak with the that. king, hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in room. Am I, am I the diplomatic the messenger here? You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. The little kids that are like nine were getting drunk. You know what's interesting? We're like we talk about, oh man, this looks so good. The frame rate's awesome. But think about at the end of this console's life, how we're gonna say like this looked like crap. You know what I mean? Because every time we get a new console, we're always like, this is amazing. But then at the end, we're like, oh, this this sucks. This isn't very good anymore. I mean, and this is one of those games they had to develop simultaneously for PS4 and so, PS5. So it's probably more of a scaled down. Can you get digital games on the physical edition? Yes. Yeah. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he's back yesterday? That's a good idea. And that's in the morning. First light. What the? Oh! They laugh. He's probably paralyzed. Now go. You have a gift to deliver. Uh, you're her wife. You should know. Yeah, you should know. Skull, can we get some skulls in chat? Mm. Stream's prime. King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. We're gonna get like a red wedding situation. Someone's gonna slaughter Thank all of us. You, now and forever, I am pledged to you. These installation <laughs> times are even way shorter. Hearken well in the hall of kings. No, it's skull, not small. Okay. How you doing, David? Oh, steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then speed, I forth will bring. Can we get some stomps in chat? Every song is about fighting, isn't it? Oh, snap. We under attack. Young to fight, young Viking. What are we gonna do? Do we have to go hide? It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Should we go watch the battle? They use the languages of the time? Dude, no one knows. No one would understand. Oh. Dude, look at this lady. Yeah. Heck yeah. Viking guess. Is Viking a, a male term? Does, does Viking work for both male and female? 
Team over team now. Are you guys getting a lot of feedback from the game? I, I'm gonna switch mics. I'm, I'm on my Apple Pro mic. Should sound better. I was bad the best. Fight, my love. Do not listen. Gotta unplug it real quick. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron. Pick up your axe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh sevens for clan leader. Okay, this should sound better now. Audio might be low though. Let me know how no I sound compared to the uh game. Oh! Oh sevens for chief. Dude, would you trust them though? Would you trust that guy? Aurora Borealis. Oh no! Horse! Nobu! Nobu! Dude, the axe is sick. Oh, wolf out of nowhere. Oh, come on. Go. Oh, dude, his arm. I'm gonna lose that thing. Get the axe, boy. Oh. <gasps> Short life flashing before his life. His eyes. What the bird attack? Oh no. Is this some animus bullcrap? No one cares about in Assassin's Creed since like BC3. What the hell is that? Oh, I'm gosh. seeing two different data streams overlapped in the same DNA. Will I care Not sure why. Fix this or pull about the modern day crap? The streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. You guys can go ahead and do some resident sleepers the during the modern day part. Based on signal strength. It's up to you. Oh. I'm gonna be a dude. Wait, there's Evor and Evor. <laughs> they both share the same name. Wait, what do you mean that the animus choose? I don't understand. We'll be the dude, though. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. So, Evor and Evor is a gender-neutral name. Can any Vikings confirm? Wait, was my child supposed to be? How oh, have you been he was a boy, but then. Seventeen winters. Eighteen. Hold on. Do I now haunt your dreams? This looks really good, like on the stream, like on the... Do I warm your loins? 
So they were going to be like, oh, the animus is broken. It forgot if it's this? actually a boy or a girl. Oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A Why? scorn snake. I love uh, axes, though. Few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. The game of the animus was like, I for we forgot what gender he was. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> jolt, jolt vey, the Kill crew. the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! The male acting's better in this. Hey, the wolf kiss is no more! Unlike uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where world. Cassandra was way better than. Alexios. You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> Took like two minutes to load from the character selection. Uh. That's what they said. The, the bigger jump in the console isn't necessarily graphics, but it's load time. They said there are virtually no load times on the PS5. That's you that's move. a bigger increase than load. And I take your than, uh, graphics. You hear me? Although this looks really good. Winds blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Because, yeah, it's a solid state hard drive. Now, what right, did going? I just tell you? Oh! So, is he an actual assassin or just like. axes everywhere. Dude, do you ever been attacked with the boat? You've been attacked, attacked with the boat. Uh, I will skin you alive. Uh, you will never, never leave this. Dude, he's kind of bad, eh? Looking. No feast for you, Sunan. Dude, I hope we get some double axe action going. Oh, we're playing. Is vibrating right now. It is very smooth. My crew is in danger. I need to reach them. Regular hard drive has like a spinning thing in it. What's that? The spinning disc. And solid state has no has no moving parts, but like a, the regular hard drives have moving parts in them. Break. It's also probably why this is more. Uh, it's quieter. Yeah, this looks so good. Right. Okay, I hope they didn't just change the controls. Like, keep them consistent with all the games. Food. Better. Regenerate. Oh no, is is this a game where health regenerates only by food? I feel better. I like auto regeneration. Find and rescue your crew. So what's... You can pick up berries. So on the bottom left, there's some kind of gauge. And it fills up and you eat berries. Save that for later. Ration stocked. Enough food was collect collected to create a ration. And then what is that? Is that a heal? I'm not a hardware software person, so I don't really know stuff. Okay, so is this a heal? Once you fill that up. Tutorial time, huh? Gotta climb. Dude, this looks so good. And I'm only in 1080. If you're at the 4K or whatever, um, I, can this do 4K 60 frames per second? If you have the right monitor and stuff? Anyone know? Could it actually do that? Or at least can this game do that? <laughs> what could go wrong with picking random berries? He's a biker. Alright. Where's my crew? This looks really nice. 
good lighting. Frame rate's so smooth. Turning off HDR helps. I feel like in every game I've played, HDR makes it look worse. Why is that? This area is off limits. You're off limits. I'll finish. Is there gonna be a, a short? Is it gonna be one of those games, dude? I'm like really. Oh! I cut that guy's head off. Dude, his head is gone. <laughs> Brutal. Okay, I have a bow. Controls kind of seem like um, Odyssey. We'll see if there's uh, like the, all the counters and abilities or something. Okay, Raven Eye, that's for good. Okay, so this is the Eagle Eye thing. Thing they put in Origins and then Odyssey, the bird, so you can track stuff that way. Your Eagle, Eagle Vision and stuff. Yeah, dude, I chopped his head off clean. It's a dur. Let's follow the river. Seems like a good thing. Okay, we can hunt. Oh, it wanted me to. It was part of the tutorial. I could have hunted that deer. What is that? L1? What is this? Just like a little melee hit? Is this a quick attack and then probably a heavy attack? Okay. No towers to climb to synchronize. Oh, is there no synchronization? I never mind. I never mind. It's like synchronizing, just so it's kind of cool to go up, up, up areas. There's also no just natural jumping. Only jumping is off of stuff, it seems. All right, we done exploring. Should we'll find it. What's that yellow light mean? Wait, and what's the green? Or what's the green indicator? And then what's is the main objective the yellow one, but what's the green one? Just like a un undiscovered area, maybe? Oh no, I was asking if there's no towers. Oh, I don't know. Like, synchronization of areas from high vantage points is kind of at the heart of the game. Like, I wonder if, like, up there will be a synchronization point. My social studies teacher eyed a grandma today. God's hero, did you what? Oh, you got a club. Okay, the other thing is, can you block? Oh. Oh! Okay, so you use the heel right. Your social studies teacher is a grandma today? I don't understand. Like, their child had a child today? Oh. Can we do stealth kills here? Oh! What do we do? How do I get out of here? Why can't I swim? Did they, like, freeze to death? Oh, they did! This might be the first Assassin's Creed game where the people can swim, at least for a little bit. Watch, this will be a synchronization point, so it's gonna do a... Yeah, like a tutorial for that. Okay, so obviously you don't want to be in the water too long, because it's cold. Those people just froze to death. Do you think Red Dead Redemption 2 looks better than this game? Probably not resolution-wise, but this game probably has better FPS. Uh, can we climb? What can we climb up? What 
can't. Okay, I can just climb any rock. Basically. Is that what's happening here? Okay, I don't need the closed captioning to tell me that a fire is crackling. Wealth. Okay, we gotta... Odin's sight highlights and reveals nearby wealth. Oh, that's what these are for? Okay, I'm guessing you can't you can't climb on the ice. Is this game 60 FPS? It feels like it. Oh, I need to go in here. And do this. Is this one of those things where I can grab that? Aim? Oh. Damn. When you need something, you just you shoot it. Goodbye, console generation. Did well. Good seven year run. We got a carbon ingot. Is that, that's what I got for doing this. Oh, there's something over here. Some silver. I want to break this box. I don't like this box. Do the fires. Are they checkpoints? Okay, now is this going to have a quick way down like uh, a lot of other games do? You don't have to go click go the whole way. All right, we're just jumping in. See what happens. You're along. You can stay underwater. Please. They will attack on sight. What? You don't like the RPG elements? I do. I'm down. I, like I don't think it necessarily needed it, but I think they're they're fine. All right, let's get to this area. Yeah, fire crackling. Do we need to turn off those subtitles? Like I don't need that. I just want to have subtitles on everything, the background and the main. Stuff. Some good snow. It's kind of like RDR. Good, um, like, snow footprint. Memory. It's always a nice touch. Like the old-fashioned AC-style games. I mean, they were, they were so stripped down, though. Graphics aren't as good as you thought it'd be. Well, I mean, you got to remember, this is a game that was created for the PS4. And then just runs a little Flash bit differently fire. on a PS5. It's, it's not a true PS5 only developed game, but they are good though. It, it it's the the frame rate is really good. Oh. You gotta wait a bit, you know, for games to maximize the potential of the console. I saw him board a ship at Davos Nest not long ago, sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the long ship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. 
No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. Remember, this console generation is much about, isn't as much about graphics. It's oh, about here. speed. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. I loved Odyssey. I love the setting of Odyssey. Ancient Greece. So good. Yeah, you almost don't want high frame rates in movies. I agree. It looks like those movies look weird when they're in high frame rates. So this is gonna tag all the people. Arbelsness, where that oathbreaker is holding my. Okay, is it the same tagging system as Odyssey? Or what do these lines mean? Demon Souls looks good. Is is Demon Souls only PS5 or is it on PS4 as well? This the new one, the new remake. Shut this warriors crawl through Abel's nest like lice. I use the main gate and may attract attention. Where you can go in these areas. The longhouse. The crew should be inside. Longhouses are cool. Old boats they convert to. Old boats they convert into be an in the Okay, I don't need fire crackling anymore. This is if I don't get rid of this soon, it's gonna just be a meme. Oh look, we got other stuff. Well, I'll come back to that. Turn this off. <laughs> fire and crackle, fire, fire crackling is gonna be a meme. It's gonna be a meme if I don't take care of this. We don't, we don't really need that. All right, wait. Actually, let's go back here and let's zoom around a bit. Sometimes they kind of tell you right in the new game, or the beginning of the game, what updates they have. What? Oh snap, you saw me. Oh. It felt good, that felt like kind of like chunky, the fighting. Yeah, do we do, do we guys, wait, I mean, I know, now, now you don't know what the fire is doing. Dude, this town looks so cool, I'm gonna live here. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they might be in the, the house. Can we get in there? Do we can go on the roof, maybe? Ooh, arrow roof. Let's go through the top. Ooh, this would be slippery. Got some grass growing on their buildings. Why would this exist? The boat wouldn't have this hole in the middle, right? You squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it. Oh. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it. Fuck oh. out. We gotta save Brag. Where is he? Where is he? Can you do a like a scan? Wait, what's this? Torch, horn, meditate, call longship. Okay. Wonder how much uh, seafaring battles there are. Is it gonna have a be like Odyssey level? I just don't need like black flag or rogue levels. All right, let's go down to this thing. Guy. 
trying to get down. Oh no, you don't. What am I gonna do? Grab a torch? You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. No good snow levels, okay? You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. Hey, Black Hand. You just killed yourself, Erki. Meet your Lock mate. target. Okay. I will send you to hell herself. Okay, how are you going to do uh, dodges? Okay, spurs dawn. Kneel, Wolfkist. I, like I that will spare your life. Shut your whole fight. I need to know what parry is. You probably can't parry a two-handed weapon, I'm gonna guess. All over for you. Hey, double. You should know what the abilities are. I mean, how fun an Odyssey was like Spartan Kick and the Bull Rush. I love it. Those were so fun. Fun abilities. Can I just cheese this guy? Stamina is consumed when dodging or missing an attack. When out of stamina, you can't dodge or block until it has been fully replenished. Ah, stamina is over time and when landing light attacks. You've never really had stamina. That's new. I just cheese this guy, apparently. Black hand. I like small streamers, too. If I watch a big streamer, it's because the streamer is really, in, so him or herself, are really entertaining. I like small, I like small streamers. You can talk to the people, develop relationships. Brother, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. Thirsty, by the way. I was out. This is all watery now. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! <laughs> Oh, is this that? Is this the same clan that screwed us? Yeah, it's a really smooth animation. Who's this? I can't sprint. Is like a vision? Do what I can, Black Hand. Oh, that tree's cool. I build a house on it. This Doge. You some? Do you see my dog? Abel, are you bewitched? Unbind us. What? Oh, yes, of course. Daydreaming. All right, we got new weapons and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Put it on. Oh, we got a cloak. We got armor. Oh, I look cool. New axe. Wanted to say how much is an upgrade. Main hand. No helmets. No bracers. Boots. So we can go shield. Shield in one hand, axe in the other hand. Oh, R2 is compare. Oh, it's not. Oh, wait, no, it is. Okay, so that's block. Okay, so we have a shield. What's that noise? I can't open the doors. Can I go through here? Oh, they're in here. You have done Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. No, Ubisoft gets. Do not need to tell us twice. 
like an uncomfortable. You gonna open the door? Oh, we gonna fight. There's gonna be like a perfect parry thing where you parry at the right time and it staggers. Me. The question is gonna be, uh, please, please tell me there's no weapon breaking. I hate it when games have weapons that wear down. It's not fun. Unless you're in a pure survival game. I feel like I timed that really well. Watchdog. I played the first Watch Dogs. I mean, I kind of saw the second and the third, but they look kind of boring. They look like a game that I would play and then wish I was playing a better version of that type of game. Like, alright, I, I want to play a better open world game, you know? Did have kind of an alert for when you get swung. I mean, the only thing that was kind of cool about Watch Dogs was like the hacking, and then it was like, all right. Other than that, though, I feel like there was better open world games like that. You know? Far Cry is good, but it's just first person AC. Really, you think so? Be pretty different. See, especially the new Fall Cry Far Cries are more like a GTA. By the way, Far Cry 5 is really good. Alright. Um, what's over here? Hey, what? Go to split. Quite smart. Use your glimmer. Oh wait, those are my people. <laughs> wait, is something inside here again? Ah. Where are we going? What have we got in here? Our door. Break the lock on these doors. Oh, the site will highlight them. <laughs> What up, boys? I'm gonna play the Tom Clancy games. Man, I'm tired today. Again, I was tired last night or yesterday too. I'm exhausted. Hey, hold on. Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> Dude, how does it feel if I next gen? I feel like I'm like a next gen human now. A next next gen human being. Dude, imagine playing PS4 still. Activision. I'm not a fan. Activision has a lot of good games. Shield defeat. Uh, yeah, I know about four honor. Um, a little too much melee combat for me. I need more story and missions and that. That's good, just as like a combat game. But I want more than just that. Just personally. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our you ship. Breathe, you you do not fight. need to tell us twice. Restart.
started back here. Try to hold in shield to a melee. What does that mean? Okay, not a little bit. Let me try one of those where you try to parry at the same time. And they swing. Oh, that's right. Do that again. Hit me again. Hurry up. Hit me. What are you waiting for? So it does look like the perfect parry is a mechanic. Do a stun attack. Oh, that, that heavy attack that launches him, that's pretty cool. Okay, good. Yeah, the parry system, just kind of like you've been playing on um, Ghost of Tsushima. Is really, you really gotta do that. That really helps. You would miss, dude. Guy swung at me and it wasn't even close. Leave the blue boys alone. I think you should be doing school if you're in school right now. Anyone else in school? This exact second? Are you in class? Hey, is this guy a bad Who is this guy? Just like a regular dude? Oh, he's one of my peeps. Oh, he's that one guy. Hard to figure out his name. Alright, we need to get out of here. Oh, we still got a fight going on. You guys got it? You need my help? Black flag? Whoa, is that like a bear trap? A broken piece or something? Alright, screw the Odin's whatever. What are the blue lights? I'll slide. Where's the map at? Oh, it's way over here. It means it's a mystery. And then there's wealth. Okay. Sure, lady. <laughs> sure, Maria. You played secure on Tsushima. Can you claim yourself as a parry master? Yes. Go for it. Wait, where's the long ship this way? More enemies? Oh. Oh, it got me. You'll never get me. Is all I am? Albod Sness. Oh, they're already fighting. Black Flag was going. Sorry. Unpopular opinion. It is my least. It is my uh, least favorite. I keep going after my own people. My least favorite Assassin's Creed. Game. of the entire series. Even worse than AC1? Oh yeah. AC1's better than uh, some other ones too. Um, Assassin's Creed 3 is not one of my least favorites. Those are my bottom two. This has some God of War feel to it. Yeah, I mean, just the whole Norse thing. Okay, we just, are we headed out? Get on our, get on our boat. On the boat, take command. Ooh. All right, piloting the boat time. 
follow river with that um, just oh just like auto auto go top tier I have a whole video on this on uh, my gaming channel on YouTube guys if you haven't seen I have a whole tier list of AC games in that top tier Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were doing the auto thing. Oh, something like I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bold headed, and I smell like blood and shit. I like my version better. Um, Assassin's Creed 2 is my favorite. And then Brotherhood. And then also in my top tier is uh, Unity and Odyssey. Those are my top four favorite. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Judge his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Raid? Wait, what? I want to raid. Long ship must be pointed toward the shore. Like this. Why would you blow the horn if to let him know? We're raiding this little island. This seems really rude. We'll just assume they're really bad people that live on this island, okay? This is supposed to be kind of like when you take a faction area in the game. These people are a little tougher. So when we get rewards and stuff, you know. Get your back, bro. Jeez, Archer. Alright, gonna be looting here. Oh, here we go. Shiny. Must be good. Bone Biter. Ooh. Uh, let's see what it is. New axe. Is it going to be better? Oh, yeah. Hey, see ya, Maria. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Wait, she looked like the other guys. Who else is left? We done? Dude, look at it's all dried out. It's pretty cool. We gotta go home to Fornberg. Oh wait, we need to get more of this stuff. You played any classic games? Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm a retro um, retro game collector. Favorite game of all time is Mario Three. I own over 600 original NES games. Dude, I could write in the snow. We could write naughty words. The tailing mechanics is annoying. Wait, what tailing mechanics? Why is there a horn? Is that how we get back? Okay. The raid is over! Oh, my axe is blue. Is my axe blue, or is that just the reflection? Hmm. 
Alright, it's autopilot going. We wrote Frick in the snow. <laughs> Tailing mechanics and AC4. This war spun on for three Ugh, I don't remember. I've been kind of sleepy. Probably won't play super long tonight. Just because I already streamed a lot of, of getting the um, just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you care. Game or the getting this going. I also hungry. I need some dinner. Graphics, cool, very beautiful area. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that not something you worry over? Let's try this again. You watch Angry Video Game Nerd? Oh yeah, I watched AVGN for a decade. You watch the Liberate? No, I never heard of that. What do you think about getting this game for PS5? Well, there's not a lot of PS5 games out, so I don't know what else. What PS5 games do you own? Not many out there. The Liberator? No, I'm not sure what that is. When did the stream start? Oh, know, a couple hours ago. We did an unboxing. All right, here's my home. Hornburg. Aragorn's uh, in chat is Norwegian. Are you from Hornburg? Do you know anybody from Hornburg? Well, well. The feather of ring. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. Okay, that's basically Alex uh, 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 Cassandra. You look like red and shit. What happened? That is just Nothing Cassandra. They just re-skinned her. Yeah, I'm on Twitch as well. well We're on Twitch. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with that. You. Is Viking Cassandra? I as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. Is Fornberg real? He was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned, but we killed many of Kyoto's warriors, and there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. We need to call Feeling yours just winters since now. The day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. All the wolf bite. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I Vikings see don't have feelings. Us. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Aragorn, how many, um, rages, I mean, uh, <laughs> how many, uh, uh, villages have you raided in your life? Spending skill points on nodes will improve your fighting skills. Alright. Let's do it. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh god, it took me to the DLC. Choose your path. Ooh. Stealth? Range. Melee, yeah. I'm, I'm a melee. I'm a melee person. Am I not leveled up enough for this? Oh, I'm out of points. Okay. I'm assuming I can, like, update or upgrade all the different paths. We'll do this first. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Avon, can you teach me the art of archery? The, f the first menu takes to. you to microtransactions. Yeah, pretty much. Things fade. Oh, dude, they got cold breath. Dude, why would you live in such a cold place? Have they not heard of the direction south? In here, nothing. Oh, what up, crew? Saved your butts. You're all welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Dice. Oh no, there's a game. I don't have time to learn a Viking dice game. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. North? How much further north can you go? It doesn't bother you, but have you ever tried a warm place? It's kind of nice. Hold X to chain parkour. Oh. Yeah, we did it. What up? You like the blacksmith? Wolf kids. Welcome back. Gonna. Gonna. I have something here you might like to see. Heck yeah. Thunderclap of Thor. Thunderclap of Thor. I want to start axe? saying that. I have not seen this beauty since, well. For some time, I forged this weapon, Domingo. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot Got a force couple. them from empty air. They're gonna keep going north. They're gonna yeah. They're gonna keep going north. They're gonna end up on the equator. All right. So ingots are used to enhance your armor and weapons. Doing so will unlock rune slots, increase the pieces upgrade limit, and it may improve its appearance. All right. All right. We're gonna upgrade Daddy's axe. I mean, eventually you go north enough, you will only be going south. Can I do it again? I need three. But I have a carbon one. Why can't I? Whatever. That should do it. Anything else? Oh, we good, fam. We good, fam. That's all for now. Are you watching Return other chats? Inside. Yeah, uh, YouTube chats going on. Cool. We're dual streaming. Uh, we need to track a quest. Wait, are they done now? Hey. Hey. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Hey, awesome, dude. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Oh, 
Favorite games are Skyrim and Fallout? Dude, that's my top games ever, too. What up? Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Elvis. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Fallout 4 was good. I liked it. Not necessarily my favorite Fallout, but... No, I'm not doing No, this. not now. Understood. Perhaps later. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. The seer lives in the mountains north of Fornberg. The clan is happy to see you return. Oh. Come and drink! Let us amuse the god! Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? I'll match horns with you. Dude, all these people just want to... Oh. Not like with waving me. an axe around, is it? Drinking takes a strong gut. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. All right, guys. Hey, um, I'm going to wrap up right now for here because I need to get some dinner. Um, thanks for hanging out. This has been fun. Starting on our PS5. That's so cool. We're in the next console gen. So that's pretty awesome. But I'm going to get some dinner and we'll definitely be playing a lot of this going forward. I uh, might actually stream on the main history channel just because this is a history related game and hopefully we can draw in more people into our community. So, yeah. All right. Um, join the Discord. Link is in the description or bios. Um, and, yeah. All right. Thanks again to everybody that followed. Uh, we had a lot of viewers here today that wanted to watch the unboxing, so this is pretty cool. I appreciate everyone being here. Hopefully, we, if you are new, that you're going to stick around. You're going to follow or sub or whatever. So you can follow on YouTube or, or um, on Twitch. Either way is good for me. So, all right. And with that, you all, we are going to go ahead and end it here. And we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Let's play you guys out. Something chill. Here you go. All right, good night.